Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penj and today we are going to be playing Slumlord Simulator because nothing says have a happy Christmas time than managing some slums and being really really horrible to the inhabitants of them and doing all sorts of nefarious, illegal and unpleasant things. So there we go. Without any further ado, let's get on with it, let's start a new game. Okay, so the game has begun, I have one slum, and now I have to pick my difficulty, and this is intriguing, because the difficulty dictates how many turns you have to get to Bermuda. So presumably, I, in buying my slum, have, um, have, have annoyed somebody. I've annoyed somebody enough that I need to run away and get to Bermuda. So I, someone's going to come after me to what, like kneecap me, or break on my fingers or something, so like Johnny Knuckles, or Dave the Kneecapper is coming after me. So um, hard difficulty is 100 turns, medium difficulty is 150 turns, easy is 200. Let's go on medium difficulty. Let's click that and there we go. So this this is our current slum and it, it looks kind of slummish and the rest of it is some lovely sort of woods, some nice foresty areas. It actually looks okay. This sort of sticks out a little bit, the slum just here, whereas that, oh, you know, it looks pleasant. Pleasant and green, a green and pleasant land. So we have 10 grand, we get two grand per turn. My reputation is neutral. My tenant opinion is hopeful. This isn't very good. I'm not doing my job very well, am I? I'm supposed to be being horrible. Current turn, first turn. Here we go. So <laughs> schemes, escape to Bermuda. There's some uh, head office and there's a tenant census. What are schemes? Ah, so there we go. Turn off flat heating to save money. It costs six turns, but I will get 200 per turn. Okay. So these are things that don't actually cost me money to do. Run moonshine in the slum basements. Yes. Yes. Do that. Do that. Upgrade flight using in paid interns as workers. Takes 10 and the income increase. Ah, okay. Or run a fake lottery and pocket the ticket money. <laughs> get 2,200. I'm going to do that. I'm going to upgrade the flats using in paid interns as workers. 10 turns but I'm going to get $250 for a home. So there we go. Let's do that. So that's a scheme I'm running currently. That goes red to show that I am doing something. Uh, tenant sensor. So amount of rent negligible. Factories, farm, amount of rent negligible. That can't be a good thing. Theft, negligible. Lack of forested areas, negligible. Yeah, I'm supposed to be being kind of horrible here. Your tenants remain hopeful that you will improve their living conditions. And for now, they have placed their trust in you. That trust may not last for long if tested. Yes, yeah, so obviously if the tenants get too too cross, if the people in my slums get too cross, they will riot. And uh, there is a risk of getting lynched in the next riot. Obviously, I don't want that. I want to go to Bermuda and live, I don't know, in Bermuda forever on a beach, drinking pina colada or beer or whatever. So uh, yes, expected length of the next riot, two turns. Okay, and head office. Oh, goodness me. Right, so this costs a lot of money. Hire a PI to find and snuff out troublesome tenants. Hold a tenant survey and sell the info to the top bidder. Three turns, you get $400. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That gives me $400. Okay, so head office is doing something. Now we can click a tile. So we can click tiles to do things with them. So let's click that. We can run meth slabs in the forest. That's nice. It can't be cancelled. Pay thugs to burn it down. Ten grand. Or pay locals to cut it down. Six grand. Uh, okay, or should we go to one in the corner? I quite like the idea of the ones maybe over here. These ones on the right. Let's uh, road access required. Oh, oh, I don't, I, I can't do it because it's over the road. Is that right? Ah, okay. I can't do it because it's over the road. Okay, well that corner one that needs road access. Didn't I click on that just now? Okay, never mind. Right, let's the cheaper one here. Seven turns, but it's going to save me six thousand. Uh, no, four thousand dollars to pay locals to cut down that forest, because I want to put another slow on there. I want more houses, please. So let's pay some locals to do that. I've got four grand. Uh, okay, end my turn. Splendid, old wealth, four, income two, one-time payments, none. So new wealth, six. My reputation has remained the same. Continue on. Just as you take possession of the slums, a yearly meeting for collective bargaining was held, and they have sent you their demands. Due to the economic situation of many of your tenants, they demand your, you lower the amount of rent to allow people to get back on their feet. They also conclude that major renovations are needed in order to maintain acceptable living standards. While I am renovating stuff, if you give them an inch, they will take a mile. Raise the rent. Demands cannot be given into. Raise rent. Don't raise rent, but make it very clear no renovations will be made either. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to raise the rent, but I'm not going to renovate anything either. So sh shut your traps, you silly people. Okay, we've got six grand. Okay, let's just go to the next turn. Uh, yeah, okie doke. And then we want to clear this tile as well, I think. Road access required to just there. 
Really? Okay, that's a surprise. Oh, does it need to have? Does it need to be the road needs to go to it? So I can. Well, I can't do that one then. That's got road access. Oh, I don't understand that. I don't get it. So I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I can do that tile in the corner, however. Right, let's get them to cut that down as well. So let's do some cutting down of things. Right, end that turn. Yep. End the turn. Yep. The popular magazine Tenants Digest have just re uh, released their yearly survey of worst slumlords in the country. And you've been made third. Yes. Good. Impressive. You've not been in charge for that long. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I do try my very hardest to be a horrible person. It's difficult to say what impact this will have on your tenants. Will it galvanise their collective bargaining efforts? Or are they dis or are they too disorganised to mount a serious challenge? Only time will tell. Third spot. They must not be unhappy enough. Raise rent by $400. Or don't dignify this slander with a response. Ignore the survey. Mm, yeah, ignore it for now. I, I want to get some more people in. I want to get some more stuff in. Uh, oh, head office thing's done. That was done, was it? Yep, so I got 400. Ah, yes, there we go. Uh, well, I might as well do that again. Might as well do that and get some money out of it while I'm there. Uh, yep, okay, nothing much has changed. Schemes are still going. They're still cutting stuff down. Keep going. Following the Tenants Digest survey, your tenants have cho chosen your tenants have chosen to band together to once more try to force their, force you to make improvements around their slums. I am. I'm actually doing it. I'm doing it now. They argue that the evidence that change is needed is crystal clear due to your third place finish in the survey. They specifically want you to take care of mouldy walls, leaky roofs and dilapidated storage rooms that haven't been maintained in years. Inform them if it's their slum, they should fix the roofs themselves. Dissent must be stopped. Evict the troublemakers. Income decreased by $600. Remain silent on the matter. Oh, I'm tempted to evict the troublemakers. Yeah, let's do that. Income decreased by $600, but I do have a bit of monies now. So yeah, let's do that. Kick out the troublemakers. Yes, goodbye, troublemakers. One of these should be done fairly soon, I would have thought. One of the logging things. Yes, there. There's a road there as well. Okay. Can we um, can we build a slum there? Like houses. Construct a slum. 10 turns. 60,000. Oh, oh, goodness me. Okay. Set up illegal drag races and charge races a fee. 250 a turn. Lease the land for farm usage. Turns 15. Payment at end of lease. 16 grand. Lease the land for factory usage. 20 turns. 12 grand. Why would you do factory usage? Oh, instant payment of 12 grand. Ew, that could be quite nice. I'm going to do that though. Because you get more money out of it and it's less time. So lease the land for farm usage. Yes, be a farm. What can we do here? Put up, <laughs> put up dictator-like posters of yourself to inspire fear. Steal tenants' TV antennas and sellers' scrap. Stop trash pickups for the coming turn. Uh, that's a bit mean. Or increase rent by 300. Turn and blame the increase on a new noise tax. Uh, I think we do that. I quite like the idea of putting up posters of me to inspire fear. To start get them off my backs. Let's do that. That's kind of fun. Can that do anything? Revoke lease. Oh, no, don't do that. That's a silly thing to do. Uh, head office. Do that thing again. You might as well. End turn. Okay, yep, everyone seems very neutral still. Uh, end turn. Yep, let's just, keep, let's just keep going. There we go. I'm not making as much money anymore. Okay, now this is done. Um, let's do that then. Let's set up illegal drag races there, shall we? Why not? Let's do that. 250 per turn. Yeah, okay, do that. Drag racing. Yes, why the heck not? That'll do. That's fun. So we should be getting some money in, which is good. Action taken. Action blocked this turn. Uh, okay, we need someone to sort this out then. No, not that one. Not that that one. Yes, right, I can do that now. Run meth labs in this forest. Six turns, 150 per turn. Or do we actually get rid of that? What other ones can we build in? That one. I'm going to do meth labs just there. That can be meth labs, and that one we're going to cut down and get the locals to do it. Splendid. So that'll give us another tile to build on. Okay, our head office. Uh, might as well do that. And schemes. Yes, okay. Turn off flat heating to save money. <laughs> I do like this. This is horrible. Um, run moonshine, upgrade the flat thing, or run a fake lottery and pocket the ticket money. Turns five, you get 2,200. I'm doing that. <laughs> I'm doing a fake lottery because I'm a terrible person. Okay, next turn, next turn, next turn. Yep, yeah, it's all ticking over quite nicely. Head office, do that thing again. Next turn. Oh, they've stopped. Let's lease that for farm. Oh, no, should we do that? 
Let drug smugglers use the road as an airplane runway. One turn, $200. I just want to see what it looks like. Does anything exciting happen? Oh, no, that's a shame. I thought we might have seen some sort of change there. Let's let's lease that for farm usage as well. Why not? So two farms. That's going to be chopped down. That's fine. Oh, hang on. That's finished. Let's run meth labs. Might as well. Head office. Do that thing. Schemes. Oh, we can do lots of them. We've got 24 grand. Conflict resolution teams to reduce slum anarchy. I kind of want to keep the money. I want to keep the money. Let's run moonshine. Yes, moonshine. Sounds like a good thing to do. Right, end turn. How much money do I need to go to um, to Bermuda? I don't know how much money I need. I've never been to Bermuda. I don't know how expensive it is. Uh, right, you, you can do the farm thing. You can be leased for farms. So we'll have a big old farming thing going on. Right, good. That's going to be good. Lieutenants have lodged a complaint regarding the number of farms in cl close proximity to their slums. They protest that because of the large number of leases granted to farms, the result is that heavy farming equipment is being run during the early morning, disturbing their sleep. They have requested that no more farm leases be issued and the current leases be terminated. <laughs> but likely tell them to go away and raise their rent by $500 or ignore the request altogether and send no response. Um, I might do that. I might just tell them to shut up and then make them pay me more money. Beautiful. And now in head office, I am going to do... Uh, which one was it? Or maybe it was schemes. Maybe I need to wait for schemes to finish. Uh, right, how, how angry are my tenants? Farmland presence meaningful. Risk of riot slight. There is a slight risk of a riot. Okay, I think I might be being too nice. Am I being too nice? Possibly. Let's cut. Can I go to that one? No. So I need to kind of go round in a nice circle, do I? So just there. Let's get meth labs in that one as well. Let's get some money out of those. So uh, old reputation neutral. New reputation aloof. Oh, they think I'm a lardy da. Okay, fine. And continue to the next turn. Head office. Do that thing. Keep going. Right. That's not doing anything. Let's cut down. Let's get the locals to cut that down. And that gives me something to work with. And then by the time that's cut down, I might be able to build a new slum in it. I might be able to build a slum, which is exciting. Right. Can I do anything with these tiles? We might as well run meth labs where we can. It gets us some money. Why the heck not? Oh, yeah, that one. Meth labs, why not? Keep going. Head office needs a thing. Do that one. Schemes. Higher conflict resolution. Higher enforcers to quell de decent. Uh, or we could turn the heating off. Run moonshine. Upgrade the flats as we did before. Or run a fake lottery. I'm going to turn off the flat heating. There you go, you swines. Have that. And end the turn. Okie doke. End the turn. Right, we've got couple of spaces here so we've got a load of money look in fact should we not have been given the money for that farm i thought we had more than sixty-eight thousand. okay well let's build a slum in fact should we build a slum next to the existing slum construct a slum sixty thousand income we built two thousand per turn beautiful under construction and this will just let drag racers have that for now that's absolutely fine head office do that thing sell all their information because i'm clearly horrible uh, farm usage, because I'm not listening to you guys because you're idiots. End turn. Uh, right, that can be meth labs. That can be meth labs. Okay, right. Meth labs and stuff. What's this meter here? What's this meter here? Is this some sort of meter for, for, for hatred of me? I don't know. I'm on current turn 35. Everything seems to be going okay. Head office needs a thing. Do that and a scheme. I'm tempted to do that. Reduce anarchy. Oh, is that the anarchy level? That could be the anarchy level. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. Let's spend some money on that. Uh, you can then, you can do the drag racing thing. Yep. End the turn. Uh, is that now not a farm anymore? Right, lease that for farm. Lovely. Keep going. Head office, I've got a thing. Click that. Schemes, turn off the flat heating again. Because I'm clearly a horrible, horrible person. You, meth labs. Lovely meth labs. Keep going. Right. We've got a thing here. What do we want to do here? I might save up five turns. Yeah, because I want to build a slum just there. I want to get another slum in. Oh, many of your tenants taken to the streets to protest your running of their slums. They feel disenfranchised and have suffered your heavy hand long enough. <gasps> they have no demands, no organisation. They are past the point of talking and anger have won the day. Anger has won the day. The riots are still in its early stages, however, and you might be able to quell the fire if you swiftly put an end to this madness by force. 
Send in forces to break up the riot. Uh, 30 grand or ignore the events and do nothing. I'm going to send in enforcers. I thought I already had some enforcers, but clearly they hadn't actually done their thing yet. They hadn't kicked into life. So yeah, let's hire enforcers to sort that out. Uh, head office. Let's do the survey thing. <laughs> and I don't know if that's the right thing to do as it currently stands right now, but never mind. Right, end turn. Everyone's agitated. Many of the tenants continue to take to the streets in red hot anger of your way of running their slums. They have no demands, bibbly bobbly, but right is now in full swing and cannot be fully stopped until it comes to a natural end. Instruct your forms to try and slow down the riot. Ignore it and do nothing. What can I do? If they're rioting, they are rioting. Many of the tenants continue to do this. No demands. The riot is now full swing, bibbly bobbly boo. What happens with a riot? Like, am I, am I at risk of being killed now? Oh, risk of getting lynched in the next riot. Significant. Oh dear. Uh, can I escape to Bermuda? Oh no, it cost me an awful lot of money. Get forged documents in preparation for Bermuda trip. 40,000. Find private jet, 40,000. Make final preparations, 20,000. And then run away. I think I'm going to get lynched. I think I'm going to get lynched just here. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd done that. To reduce the slum anarchy. But clearly not. Uh, okay, let's run the moonshine thing. Am I going to get killed by angry people? Let's see. Uh... This would not go and put it... Ah, right. The riots have now subsided and your tenants have returned to their normal lives for now. Even though the riots are over, there is no resolution, no improvement to their lives, and there is no telling when another riot might break out. I survived and continued to build the empire. My sight's still firm, <laughs> firmly fixed on one day escaping to Bermuda. Uh, Hire enforcers to deal with the ringleaders of the riot. Yes. Do that. Do that right now. Right, Bermuda. Uh, should we do that? No, let's get ourselves another slum first. Uh, head office. Do the thing. Uh, end. Oh, no, we've got some stuff going on here. Meth labs, please. Can we do any of those? No and no. Can we do any of the other ones? Oh, yeah, okay. We'll have a meth lab in the corner as well. Why not? Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Fine. End turn. Continue. Uh, right, yes. I want... If we get that... Yeah, so in three turns, we'll be able to build on that. So why don't we actually do that each turn? Get ourselves 200 each turn. Head office. Ooh, now... Order an armoured car. To, oh, cost 65 grand. Uh, okay, hire a PI to snuff out troublesome tenants. Three turns, but it costs 10 grand. I'm, I quite like that idea. And then in here, we can construct a slum. Hurrah! There we go. So we've got another slum on the way. Your security consultants have been monitoring the security situation in the slums ever since you bought them. They've just submitted a new report to you. They note that the situation has gotten worse and worse with tenants becoming more violent. They urge you not only to hide in your bunker during riots, but also hire bodyguards as just hiding in your bunker may no, soon no longer be enough to keep you safe. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how can I hide? Where's my bunker? Reputation is harsh and the tenant opinion is angry. Okay, can I do something nice to them? Can I, I can't do nice things to them, though. I can't, I can't do like kind things. Let's do that. Let's inspire fear to, uh, yeah, to make them, to make them scared of me. Let's do that. Let's try and make them scared of me. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's riots again. There's riots happening. I can't, I can't afford enforcers. I have to ignore the things. I think I might be killed. I think I might be killed a bit in the face. And am I dead? No. Okay. Right. Instruct informers to slow down the riot. Okay. Yep. Head office. Uh, oh no, I can't hire an armoured car. I can't hire an armoured car. I haven't got enough money. <laughs> Can I escape to Bermuda? No, I can't do that either. And, oh, I've been killed. <laughs> I've been brutally killed by the people that were supposed to be looking after. Oh dear. As the right rage uncontrollably it moved to the headquarters of the local slumlord, the riders broke in, and without anywhere safe to hide, like a bunker, the slumlord was at the mercy of the cruel mob. Start a new game or back to the main menu. Okay, um... Let's see if I can get any further on. Let's see if I can get anywhere near to getting those um, getting those documents to go to Bermuda. Let's see if I can get even anywhere close to that. <laughs> okay, right. I've been playing for a little while now. And I have died many, many times. <laughs> this is a hard game. This is very stupidly hard. Because, obviously, because it's a slumlord and you're a generally a terrible person. There's no nice options. 
There's nothing where they're saying we want to upgrade the flats. Even though there is weirdly an upgrade option, which doesn't seem to make them any happier. Um, yeah, that that you can't go. Okay, that's fine. I'll uh, I'll upgrade your slums. Hang on, give give me a while. It costs fifty grand or whatever. Here you go. Have loads of nice things. You haven't got that. You either say no, I'm not listening, and put your finger in your ears and go blah blah blah. blah. Or you tell them to get stuffed and put their rent up a little bit or a lot kind of thing. And weird enough, this time round, this time round when I died, I'd bought myself an armoured car at great expense. I hadn't done anything bad. I hadn't run like, um, I thought maybe I can just do not as many bad things. They won't riot as much. So I didn't run any of the uh, meth labs. I didn't do any of the hiring it out for you know, nefarious purposes. I didn't put posters up of me around their slum. I didn't do stuff in the basements. I did nothing bad. And yet they righted more than they had previously on all the other games. And then, yeah, even with my armoured car, I am still I am still dead. I mean, at least they put me in a coffin. At least this time, you know, well, they did all the previous times, I guess. But, you know, they've put me in a coffin. They're rioters, angry, kind of, you know, mob rule rioters. They came in to my, wherever I was, the headquarters of the local slumlord. Why am I not in a bunker, for goodness sake? And, um, you know, they came in. Presumably they have killed me. They have killed me very much dead. I don't know how. And then, um, yeah, they had the courtesy to build me a coffin and put me in that in the ground. They could have just chucked me into the ground. They could have chucked all my, all my assembled whatever body parts they'd ripped off and organs that were splattered about the room and whatever else. They just chuck them in a hole, but no, they bothered to put me in a little coffin. So that's nice of them. Give them credit for that. So there we go. There we go. That is uh, that, that is Slumlord Simulator. It's quite fun. It's a little sort of fun game. It seems impossibly difficult. It seems impossibly hard. I had, how many goes did I just have then? Six? Six turns, or six goes. And I don't think I made it past turn, certainly not past turn 75, which is halfway on medium difficulty, on any of them. On none of them. So I don't know how you're supposed to survive. I have no idea how you are supposed to survive. But there we go. Slumlord Simulator. Fun little thing if you want to generally be a horrible, terrible person. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> If you did enjoy this, please do leave a like. And also don't forget to subscribe for stuff like this that we play in the Geek Cupboard. Although normally our games are a little bit lighter than this. Our games don't normally involve such terrible things going on. But yes, subscribe for nice things as, as well as this. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. We need loads of it. More resin. More. Oh, scanning. Blip, 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 scanning. Where's the way out? Oh no, I'm gonna run out of oxygen and die. They sound like proper killy, killy death rocks, they do. It's a watermelon. The bloody hell's that supposed to be? So when you fall down a big hole, you tend to die.